The former owner came up with the inn's name, the Banished Regrets. I thought it best not to ask why. I warned you, Thunderbrutes. And so the other thorn in my paw arrives. I told you, did I not? First time was a warning. Now it is a threat. You both leave town. No more investigations. No more sticking your snout where they don't belong. Collect your things and leave. That again? I told you Isu's daughter left Riverhold years ago. He's just a delusional old Khajiit caught up in a fantasy. And for this, you try to ruin my little operation? Of all the things! Who I am does not matter. What I can do to you, on the other hand, should be of immediate concern. You either leave Riverhold on your own, or you leave in pieces. Your choice. So it appears that your strange friend is Rides the Rogue. Good to know. Let us just say that her reputation precedes her. Well, threats to our life aside, it seems that we finally have a perpetrator. Now we just need to follow her. We are investigators, are we not? <laughs> you must search for a trail. With any luck, she'll lead you straight to Ishu's daughter. Meanwhile, music will alert the proper authorities. Those were fresh sugar claws! I didn't even see who ran into me. There! Riteza must have stepped on the jelly from the sugar claws. You must follow her trail while this one alerts the guards. Once Narani traveled to Grotwood, just across the border. It was only a matter of days before some wood elves tried to eat her, even after this one began to speak. So now she stays in elsewhere.
Shadows come out! Kill this Muscars! Ladies of the roll, caught at last. Did you find my daughter? Where is she? Here! Your daughter is right here, you old fool! Riteza! You're the one who stole Cynthia? Oh, this one's poor Jakashit! Ha! Feeling a little jealous? To go so far as to steal your father's pet. Ishu is so pleased that you were able to find Cynthia. Finally, this one's family can be reunited. What do you mean? Ishu gave you every detail about his precious Cynthia that he could think of. Was there something that made you think his daughter was a Khajiit? Well, no matter. Cynthia is safe and Mizik will have his payment. Rideza has become just as greedy and cruel as her mother. How can Ishu accept such a daughter, especially one who has already caused him to suffer? Rideza will face the justice of Riverhold's guards, as she deserves. If she wants to make peace, Ishu will make peace. After all, a quiet life for him and his family is all this one asked for. If Rideza wishes to be a part of that, she may be, but it is up to her. Well, it seems that our investigation has come to a successful close. Though not quite in a way that Misik was expecting. In hindsight, it makes sense. When you were told that Ishu's daughter left town years ago, Rideza must have been speaking of herself. Still, to have been chasing Ishu's pet this whole time. This is true. Because of our dedication, Riverhold no longer has to deal with these vile smugglers. And let us hope it stays that way, yes? Mizik just needs to collect our reward. Why don't we meet at the Banished Regrets? Drinks are on Mizik! <laughs> just as soon as he is paid, of course. You think that Ridges of the Rogue is finished? It's only a matter of time before I'm back on the streets. And when that happens, you best watch your back. When I came back to Riverhold, I went to see my fool of a father. It's been years since Mother and I left, and I was feeling sentimental, I suppose. Stupidly sentimental. He didn't even recognize me. Of the cat? No, I just wanted to make him suffer. He's always been obsessed with his damn pets. That's why Mother left him, you know. 
he's so caught up in his little family that he didn't have time for us. For me. Maybe you're right. Just another delinquent with Papa problems. <laughs> Isn't that just the way? You know, I wasn't too sure about Thunderbolts when he first came to town. Thought he would just cause more trouble than he solved. But thanks to the both of you, we can finally put Riddles of the Rogue behind bars. No, not too long. But it never takes much time for these kind of operations to wreak havoc on towns like Riverhold. I'm just glad we could nip it in the bud. Ridissa herself, however, has been troubling elsewhere for years now. Moldy moon sugar by itself will do little more than make a Khajiit ill. The trouble is when that same moon sugar is distilled into tainted skooma. It's an unfortunately common practice, given that moldy moon sugar is so cheap. Most likely. It's a vile thing to sell, though. Tainted skooma causes some of the most horrific reactions I've ever seen. Days of vivid nightmares and awful pain, often followed by an agonizing death. A truly horrible way to go. Family reunited, a smuggling ring destroyed, and the gratitude of all of Riverhold. <laughs> Not a bad start to a partnership, yes? 
Mizik was even able to secure a hefty bonus, thanks to the generosity of Captain Kahiri. Of course, of course. Your share as promised. After all, Mizik would never have been able to solve this investigation without your aid. Pleasure working with you, Walker. Do not be a stranger, yes? A safe town, a happy client, and an investigation expertly solved. And a five-claw partnership, if Mizik does say so himself. <laughs> what more could this one ask for? After such a successful investigation, Mizik is hopeful that more clients will come forth. We live in turbulent times, Walker. Dragons, tyrants, necromancy. There is no end to elsewhere suffering as of late. And yet so much is overlooked. Those in power have priorities. And the petty problems of the common folk? They tend to be on the very bottom of this list. That is why we must look after each other. If Mizik does not offer his help, who will? Of course. But first and foremost, it is Mizik's passion. That is why this one takes the name Thunderboots. If he cannot work in the name of justice, then he will not work at all. This, he swears. Mizik's investigations take him many places, so... It is hard to call one town home, but he's enjoyed his time in the Riverhold. He has a comfortable tavern room and a steady supply of clients. Well, a steadier supply of clients. Uh, honestly? Uh, just the one. Uh, a bard's flute was stolen while he was drinking in the tavern. He was very certain another musician had stolen it. Out of jealousy. Quickly. It turned out to be the innkeeper who stole the flute. This bard could not play in tune to save his life, and it was driving away business. So, Mizik suggested that the bard seek another tavern. A happy solution for everyone involved. After such a successful investigation, Mizik is hopeful that more clients will come forth. We live in turbulent times, Walker. Dragons, tyrants, necromancy. There is no end to elsewhere suffering as of late. And yet so much is overlooked. Come on, Arba. 